Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Coding Native 4 Framework Tutorial. This is our part number 17. Inside this video session, guys, we are going to continue about Query Builder classes, and inside this, we will see all about update and delete methods. In the last two videos, all we had seen in Qu Query Builder is all about select, insert, and insert batch methods. Now inside this video, let's say that if we want to update any specific data inside this table as well as we want to delete any specific data, then we are going to do operations by the help of delete and update methods. Now if I back to editor, go inside this controller called site controller, let's define a method something called public function first of all we will see about delete method so delete data to and inside this method first we need to create our query builder variable so what i will do simply let's say builder equal to this db we need to pass the table name as we are going to operate with tpl underscore users table so this is what we have created our query builder variable and if suppose we want to delete let's say fifth number id so what i will do here we have the delete id means id equal to 5 and we are going to perform delete operation so let's say builder delete method and inside this delete method create an array and inside this array we need to pass id equals to and this is the id variable so for delete operation we are going to use our delete method and simply we need to pass id equals to 5 so behind the scene it is going to create a query something like delete from table tpl users where id equals to 5 now what I will do, if simply we are going to print underscore r to see our return data, let's create a route inside this routes.php file. So routes get, let's say delete data to, we are going to call our site controller and inside this site controller the method we have created called delete data to. Now if we save all these changes, copy this route back to browser, let's type index.php and here we have delete hyphen data hyphen 2 if we press enter. Now this is all about our returned data and inside this data we will see affected rows equals to 1. It means a single row has been deleted from our table. Now if we go here, click on browse. Now as we can see that from this tables list of data, fifth number ID has been deleted. So this is all about our delete operation. If suppose on the basis of email address, if we want to delete, simply we need to pass here like email, let's say email, we need to create a variable first. And if we want to create something, let's say this is the value we want to delete. Here we have the email address and simply instead of ID, we need to pass email equal to this email value. Now let's say that if we want to generate our last run query, simply this db and let's say type get last query. Now if we want to see what query behind the scene this builder has generated, simply type this, save all these changes, go and reload this page and as we can see that affected rows equals to 1, it means a row has been deleted from our table as well as here as we can see that we are getting our last run query. So this is delete from TVL users via email equals to this email value. Now back to table, click on browse. And as we can see that that row has been deleted. 
This is the first method of delete what we have seen. Now instead of using search type, app, search type of approach, we have an alternative way by using where method as well. Let's see about that. So if suppose we want to delete let's id equals to 6. So what I will do id equals to 6 here and I will do something builder we will use fear method inside this making an array and let's say id equals to 6 means id and simply here we will use the final our delete method so here we have used only delete method no parameter we have passed now this time inside this method because the where condition what we have supplied here we have separated by the help of where method now save all these changes go and reload this page and as we can see that behind the scene the query has generated called delete from tvl users for id equals to 6 now if I reload this table, the 6 number ID has been deleted. So successfully guys for this delete operation, we had seen all about the first approach, second approach. Now we can use any of the method in our CI4 application. Now let's see all about for the update operation. So public function update data to inside this first of all we need to create our builder instance so it should be builder equal to this db here we have the table method and inside this table method we should have the table name called tb underscore users now let's say that if we want to update this ninth number id with real-time data by the help of this primary key so what i will do go here here we have the updated data making an array and we want something let's say name equal to real time it's also a dummy value let's put a email address something email equal to real at the rate time.com and also we want a phone number for this record so putting a phone number it's also a dummy number now how can we update so to update we have a update method if i make a single line comment so this is update method and here builder we are going to use update method we need to pass some value inside this method and the first let's pass all about our updated data in the second we need to make our where condition so we want these records should be updated for id equals to 6 not i think it will be id equals to 9 so this is what we had done and if we want to print our last query simple this db let's say get last query now if we save all these changes let's create a route inside this routes.php file so here we have routes get update data to it is going to call site controller and inside site controller we have the method called update data to now if we save all these changes copy this route back to table instead of delete data to let's say update data to press enter and behind the scene as we can see that our update query should be something like this update tbl users set name equal to updated name email equal to updated email address phone number equal to updated phone number where id equals to 9 and go and reload this table and we will get the updated data with this ninth number id so successfully guys we have seen all about our update operation so 
As for the delete, this is not a single approach. Here we have the multiple approaches to delete our data. Also in case of update, also we have several approaches. So let's see one of more. What I will do if I make comment of this line, updated data, let's say real time 2, real 2, this is all about our updated data. And this time we want to update, let's say, 10th number ID. So what I will do, builder, here we will use where condition. Inside this where condition, let's say ID equals to 10. Also, we are going to use concatenation method. Here we will use set method. And inside this set method, we will pass our updated data. And finally, we will call update method. So here we have used three different methods, but in a single line where this is the first method set as the second method and update as the third method. If suppose we don't write into a single line, so we need to write something builder. Here we have to use our where condition inside this let's id equals to 10. Next we should need to use call builder we need to use called set here we need to pass called updated data and finally we need to call update method so instead of writing three different lines i have written only a single line but this time we have used the concatenation technique so what shall i do simply comment off all these lines save all these changes go and reload this page and actually i clicked on this link so simply go go and reload this now we are getting all the data this is our last query run click on browse and as we can see that we are getting our updated data with respect to of this id equals to 10 so successfully guys inside this video we have now completed all about our update operation as well as delete operation so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i'll give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day